Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, December 17th. Pepsi, the first customer to use a Tesla Semi, has commented on the deployment of the electric truck in its fleet and made a strange comment about the range. The company is commenting on the integration of the electric truck in its fleet for the first time in a Reuters article based on an interview with the PepsiCo vice president, Mike O'Connell. O'Connell confirmed that PepsiCo is currently deploying 36 semis from Tesla, 15 in Modesto, and 21 in Sacramento. The company expects to take delivery of the 100 total order by the end of 2023. He said in the article, quote, PepsiCo's new semis can haul Frito-Lay food products for around 425 miles, but for heavier loads of soda, the truck will do shorter trips of around 100 miles. Now, Tesla has clearly stated that the Tesla Semi can achieve a range of over 500 miles with a full load of 82,000 pounds. We reported that, unfortunately, Tesla hasn't released the weight of the truck, and therefore we don't know the actual load capacity of the Semi, but we do know that can travel 500 miles at full capacity. I've heard it said that soda can add weight to the human body. Perhaps it's adding some weight to the Tesla Semi as well. There's also the likelihood that they don't need to carry soda all that far. Soda companies are well aware that it weighs a whole lot to carry water back and forth, so they usually make soda far more locally than people imagine. A company called Space Campers has launched a $24,000 bed-embedded camper for the Tesla Cybertruck. It's one of now several companies already developing accessories for the pickup, even though it's not even on the market yet. They list several features for the accessory, including no modifications for the Cybertruck, full access to the truck bed, air-powered actuators to deploy the camper, and compatibility with the truck's battery for power. It's important to note that some of these features, especially the ones related to using the Cybertruck system for power, are aspirational since they are operating without any actual knowledge of the truck's final design. With that said, it still looks pretty cool. A report filed by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has opened up another investigation into GM's robo-taxi company called Cruise. Cruise began converting the Chevy Bolt EV to be autonomous and has deployed several of them in cities running completely autonomously, of course with drivers ready to take control. And apparently there have been some issues. Earlier this year, Cruise recalled 80 of their autonomous robo-taxis, citing a risk of accidents, particularly during turning. Crews briefly decommissioned other units on account of incorrectly predicting oncoming vehicle pathways. And now, at least of December 12th, according to the filing, the NHTSA has received multiple reports of Cruz's autonomous EVs blocking roadways and stopping abruptly, causing accidents with drivers on the road. In each instance, the drivers ended up rear-ending the cruise vehicle. In the cases of these reported accidents, the autonomous vehicles had human supervisors present inside. Stay tuned for my opinion on Cruise refusing to cruise. The 2022 and 23 Rivian R1T electric truck has earned the highest safety rating called the Top Safety Pick. This is from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Now, keep in mind, this is not a U.S. government agency, but rather a private company that is funded by insurance companies. The government runs the NHTSA and has not released their findings, but we anticipate it's still good news for Rivian nonetheless. The IIHS's testing scores vehicles across six crash tests, and to earn the top safety pick, a vehicle must get the highest rating in all of them. In addition to these tests, they get an even higher rating of top safety pick plus, and the vehicle must meet additional requirements, particularly for headlight quality, and the headlights have to be standard across all trim levels. A lot of people have mixed feelings about those Rivian headlights, but looks to be a safe pick, at least. So far, this is actually the only electric truck to meet this accolade. Martin Sander, the general manager for Ford Model E Europe, gave us a sneak peek of their first passenger EV coming from the Cologne, Germany plant. On Twitter, the executive is peering back the cover on a light blue crossover of some kind. Just last week, Ford said that their strategy for Europe is to deliver models that are more American. Whether or not this vehicle will inspire the Adventurous spirit and freedom that Ford will hope, we shall definitely see. I'm curious to know if Ford hopes to inspire freedom in the Chinese market. Does anyone buy a Ford in North Korea? Or at least Ford EV? Don't get too excited, but Toyota Motors unveiled their first battery electric vehicle pickup truck in Thailand. 
This small Hilux Revo BEV, as they call it, was made specifically for the Thailand market and is decidedly too small for at least the U.S. We're not holding our breath because at the event, Toyota CEO, Mr. Aikio Toyota, reiterated his stance on using a variety of propulsion options to, as he puts it, realistically adopt full-scale EVs. He also did acknowledge that he has been criticized by members of the press for not declaring the auto sector to move 100% EVs. My personal criticism isn't the lack of 100% commitment, but rather the stalling and active lobbying against electric vehicles. The way I see it, it doesn't really hurt me. It hurts Toyota and anyone following them. Okay, I know that I just had a little bit of an opinion time, but here's the official opinion time. GM Cruise is under some pressure after the news of accidents in their full self-driving system, but I really do find it an unfortunate reality that Tesla news of this same sort gets blown out of proportion. Fact of the matter is, no company has solved the issue of autonomous vehicles yet, but when Tesla makes a mistake, it's covered by news outlets small and large, and there's plenty of sensationalism to go around. Tesla is under the microscope to get this product finished, and I think we all know that it is because of Elon Musk's very public and very extravagant promises that he made many times. It's not fair, but it is true that when you live in the limelight, there are a different set of standards that people judge you by. Again, it's not fair, but it's the truth. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Rick Levesque says, you'll need a fourth Cadillac just for Christmas and other holidays. Thank you, Rick. Due to inflation, this year we are cutting back on our fourth Cadillac for the holidays. I realize it may be insensitive to some of you who can only afford two of those $300,000 EVs, but I have the confidence that we can endure this together. By the way, check the link in the description if you'd like to hear the music that I wish I could have used for Quick Charge. Back in the 90s, I got into a music genre that I thought would remain very obscure and unheard of. But now in the digital age around the globe, people are raving about K-pop. In the description, you'll find the jam that I fell in love with back in 1995. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.